pozdravljeni. Želim da izrazim veliko poštovanje za vaš praznik, a poštovanje i do vas, da ste se za praznik skupili v takvom broju. Juče, kad sem ustal, kad sem počel do šepe, naš sem mislil, da sem pogrešil dan, pošto bilo sve praznik, da sem bil kar kao velje. Ok, no, tak, svič v Engliš. Jaz, I would like to do a presentation about uh, how we uh, did uh, this event four years ago, how we started, and how we uh, ran this event through uh, years. Um, and I, I would like to put this in the, in the context of um, open science, lit uh, open science uh, literacy. Open science literacy, we librarian knows, know probably about um, uh, information literacy, uh, about uh, internet literacy, etc., etc., literacy at all. But in open science literacy, I think it's a very important issue now, and it's good that everyone who is involved in research uh, is aware of those uh, facts I will mention. Researchers, funders, and to the end, uh, also uh, library professionals. Um, Maybe a few words about CTK, just to put small things in the context. We are a small uh, library, um, but however, we do some functions, some operations for uh, as a university library. Uh, in um, uh, Ljubljana, the University of Ljubljana uh, does not uh, own uh, its own university library, but there are two libraries which operate uh, university library uh, tasks. One is National University Library, it's the biggest uh, in Slovenia and uh, Central Technological Library uh, uh, at the University of Ljubljana. We are officially, formally, we are not, um, we are not, uh, we are independent public service granted and budgeting by uh, Slovenian government directly um, with a, and also with Scientific Research Agency uh, with the 4 million euro per year. Um, and, uh, but, as I said, we are joint members at the University of Ljubljana, so there is a lot of coordination behind a lot of, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, alignment uh, with the university needs. We have also uh, another uh, task. Uh, one is that we are a consortium provider for uh, Slovenia. Uh, there are, um, here we have uh, more than 50 Slovenian academic uh, institutions involved into this, uh, our consortium. Uh, then um, uh, we are also the main, uh, the biggest uh, Slovenian library focused on uh, science and technology, uh, engineering and technology, uh, basically, frankly to say. And also uh, with some services and uh, uh, information resources, we supply also industry, uh, especially with patents and uh, um, standards. Maybe just a few words about Slovenian research uh, infrastructure. Traditionally, it is uh, very integrated. This is not, uh, this is absolutely reasonable because Slovenia is very small, you know, for universities, 50 national institutes. So uh, it would be uh, out of sense to build those infrastructures separately. Um, problem is the budget, uh, both to research activities. It's only 150 million euro per year, and this means 0.3% uh, of uh, GDP. Although Slovenian economic growth in the last few years is one of the biggest uh, in the European Union, this is straight from me as well data, but it's true. Um, this budget is not increasing properly and it's still at the level of uh, recession. So uh, this affects a lot uh, on the infrastructure as well. Uh, probably you know some parts of this integrated infrastructure, COP is well known probably also in Serbia. Um, uh, so we increase system is also integrated and um, open science is here. This is important regarding open science uh, because this is national system of repositories. We can say that each of Slovenian uh, researchers now is able to use uh, repositories uh, uh, within public service and without any charge or something else. Now, uh, talking about open science literacy, uh, we can put the question what actually is open science literacy? If we ask uh, people, more common people, or maybe researchers or, or founders, we could get uh, some answers which are not uh, 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 maybe uh, good 
enough. Uh, researchers will say that this is fight against pay wars. Okay, this is open access, but it's not. It's much more, I think. Um, founders will first concern about saving money, and they say that this is a good way for savings money for subscriptions. Uh, it's really huge budget for a uh, very big budget for uh, electronic subscription uh, in Slovenia. And yeah, <coughs> about how to decrease this. Uh, when we started with this this new ads four years ago, we think first to try. Uh, to try to find, to find out how to deal with the negative changes in this field, in the field of science uh, and scholarly communication. Um, those changes are very fast and, and it's, it's absolutely impossible to get proper skills, if I talk from the position of librarian, to get proper skills through formal, uh, let's say, information literacy courses. Uh, things are changing from year to year. And also the next question will be how to promote open science literacy. So one, one, one point is uh, we, we, we talked about and we talked about how to bring knowledge to the librarians and how to promote this uh, among uh, researchers and founders. Um, I don't want to bother you with uh, statistics, however, I would like to do some um, maybe just some basic of that. We started in 2015, we have four meetings up to now and uh, more than 50 speakers from Slovenia and abroad, uh, abroad uh, came. Um, we put, um, we put uh, international, uh, uh, let's say, uh, um, sound of uh, this uh, event. Uh, we try to insist uh, to get as much as possible uh, speakers and also even uh, guest participants from abroad. Uh, so more than 1,400 uh, participants were uh, attending uh, this uh, event through four years. Many of them uh, uh, came from uh, different, uh, from other countries, for example, from mostly from Egypt, from Croatia, from uh, also from Serbia, uh, there were people, uh, etc. But we have also, for example, last year some researchers from the University, uh, which is uh, very developed, <coughs> and we were very proud. Uh, we have followers also via web to We put uh, uh, a huge emphasis on, on, on accessibility to spread this information as much as possible um, via uh, social networking, via a web stream. And, yeah, and uh, I have to mention all those events were free of charge without any admission. I do open science, it's not free, as it's the first impression, uh, but we insist that it's free of charge. Uh, you can, after you will have this presentation, uh, and you can you can check uh, what we discuss and what we what we uh, what we do. Uh, uh, there are web streams, presentations, and all pictures and other information about. Now, what is the purpose of such events? I think that the key objective is to provide the necessary knowledge to all stakeholders. As I mentioned, to researchers, uh, founders, and librarians to manage those uh, very fast timing uh, uh, changes. Um, we have we, we need also media to explain and argument those changes and probably solutions to funders especially. So we had there uh, people from the Ministry of for Education. Uh, what is education, scholarly, etc. We have uh, people from Slovenia Research Agency, SRA, they sit there and listen, talk with, with our uh, speakers. We would like to meet also with good practices from abroad. Um, this would be a problem sometimes. I don't know how it is in Serbia. In Slovenia, it's typical library community. is very close. It's very difficult to enter with new ideas to this community. And we Let's say we, we, we do some target user groups, uh, as I mentioned, uh, all three stakeholders, important stakeholders, in the sense. but we also uh, uh, invite the broader audience. For example, we invite to speak to students, and there were students, uh, what was uh, good was that those students came uh, uh, in the frame of, in the context of uh, 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 study and program, so, 
uh, one professor uh, uh, absolutely uh, uh, invite them to be there and uh, yeah. because it's important young, younger generation uh, uh, upcoming uh, professionals will will, will uh, prolong this uh, development in one picture how we act uh, okay we are, I'm very glad that we don't act like those three uh, uh, men here, but we let other, let's say, professional to enter into the, uh, our uh, circle of uh, work of, of information knowledge and skills. Uh, but this situation could be sometime, sometimes typical. Now, what we discussed, which topics we discussed, First year, we learned a lot about open science and procurement of the information resources. Now we have to repeat this, uh, this uh, course and maybe change something because the situation is changed very dramatically. Slovenia, by the way, signed the course plan, uh, plan S, so this means uh, uh, very new, new uh, facts for us as well. Uh, we talked about new licenses and business models, uh, for example, offset contracts. Uh, publishing three licensing models, uh, etc. And what is uh, the most important? We talk about and we discuss those issues with the best experienced people that we have in Europe. We talk, for example, with uh, uh, Mr. Lion Learning, he's the head of uh, GIS collection, or uh, his uh, assistant, Mrs. Caroline Iverson, or with, for example, from Max Planck Institute, was uh, Ms. Campbell. Uh, and, uh, for us, it's important that the information we get, we can trust. I mean, that this is all uh, absolutely applicable information. This is not something that uh, just, you know, in theory, uh, somebody involves. Uh, and what is maybe at the same, or even more important, that through those uh, events, we got also contacts with publishers, people in charge for open access. Because I don't know how many people here are, are uh, operating uh, procurement, but if some, you will know that um, publishers mostly want to divide those two issues. One is subscription, second is open access conditions. Why? I speculate, I don't know really, but I think that they want to keep two cash flows streams, one for APCs, one for subscriptions. Very smart, this is double dipping issue. We don't talk today about double dipping. It doesn't necessarily, but however, um, we talked with, for example, with Federica Rosetta from Elsevier, she's very high uh, top manager at Elsevier uh, in, in this uh, issue. We talked with uh, Miss Reed from Springer, uh, with those, there were pilot Springer Papa, etc. So there were uh, uh, selling agents, but really people which are very high in charge in publishing. Uh, we will see on the end, we have some results, we do, did some deals, it's not enough maybe, but we started here, they started here to We talk also about repositories, um, as I mentioned, Slovenia set uh, a natural infrastructure, um, five repositories, each university one, and then on the end, it's one repository which is managed by our library, it is a uh, 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 repository uh, which are used by research institutions. It is linked to copies, so it's one-stop authorization, one-stop one metadata flow. I mean, there is not uh, different uh, uh, entry points to, uh, to uh, systems, to different systems. We talk about, uh, and yeah, uh, those uh, set of, uh, the set of uh, repositories was just in time we talk about repositories. So we put a little piece of knowledge also to our uh, people which, uh, to our staff, which set uh, this system. We talk then about the embargo, how to determine the embargo period, uh, the role of preprints, green open access, etc., etc., etc. And you can say today, probably, with your knowledge, that these are very basic things, but at 2.15, they were, they were basic for, for our audience. This was maybe the first, this was the first time that people uh, from uh, Liberia, from Slovenia, come to contact with, with, with such so we did, as uh, Dr. Lignat mentioned, some pioneer works, not with, only with events, but also with issues we discussed. 
Uh, we put a lot of emphasis on economics on open science. Open science is not free of charge, it costs money. Uh, we talked about APCs, uh, types of APCs, high APCs, how to access the APCs, price, all sorts of basic things. But then also discuss negotiation techniques, how to negotiate with publishers, types of offsetting, those four types you probably know about your system, uh, these combo contracts, etc. etc. We did also, uh, our, we discussed also total cost of publication, how to keep data together and, and to put um, uh, those data on the table to get better negotiation, uh, uh, let's say, starting point to talk with publishers. But if you need, uh, if you want to do total cost of publication, you absolutely need uh, data. And we talk also about necessary to set uh, data analytics. We talk about ESA, which is international uh, uh, project, uh, and cross-ref project, but I can say that we, uh, I'd like to uh, announce that now uh, COVIS will uh, be more also uh, analytics of open access to bibliographic of uh, researchers uh, uh, in a few months at least. Um, we talk a lot also and discuss research data management, how to do research data management process, uh, we mentioned FAIR um, uh, concept, you, you, you've been told today about uh, findable, uh, uh, accessible, interoperable, usable, etc. More metadata, reuse, etc. What, what, what is the most important uh, regarding, especially regarding research data? We talk with researchers, we try to encourage researchers. We got many concerns by researchers. They, they put questions about ethics of, uh, of uh, such things. They put uh, uh, questions about, uh, uh, let's say, uh, reuse, about uh, rewarding, uh, uh, about uh, uh, citations, etc., etc. Not even researchers, also funders ask us, why it's so important. We have um, archive of uh, social sciences data in Slovenia. Uh, this is a good platform. Now we hope so that it will be grown up, upgraded to, to the whole uh, fields of science. Um, and on the end of those uh, applicable things we discussed also about citizen science. And uh, this was something new. I do citizen science, it's not very new uh, uh, paradigm, new approach. But however, in the context of open science, it was new. And we were the first in Slovenia to open this issue. And uh, I can say that uh, especially founders were very affected uh, with, with uh, those uh, pre pre of, uh, with those ideas of open uh, of citizen science, which allows interested public to be involved in the research process. And this is very important uh, for promotion of research. Especially we go through a recession. Uh, economic crisis, there were huge cuts, research uh, and high school education is doing a world cut, uh, were, were most affected uh, sectors, and what's better to promote science than, uh, let's say, to invite uh, people to be a part of, uh, a part of uh, research activities. But this is, not an, this is not all, and this is not enough. There are much more. First, very important, uh, much complex things, uh, uh, issues. I think the first very complex issue is open science and research evaluation. Um, evaluation must be decoupled from the impact factor level of the journal to the content of article. Good article can be published in very low level journal, uh, and the opposite could be sometimes spent. It is, it's very big to say this, but yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, and uh, it's, therefore it's very important to create a new model for peer review. Peer review should be, should be um, let's say, honest, should be uh, transparent, without conflict of interests. And we can use also, uh, uh, maybe, uh, and slowly evolve some uh, new approaches like uh, open peer review, post peer review, uh, some, let's say, uh, Altimetrics uh, um, issues as well. We talk a lot about San Francisco Declaration of Research Assessments, Dora, Light Manifesto for Search Metrics, etc. Why I'm talking to you uh, about this? Why I'm this? Because
because you know when we had those research, uh, those uh, uh, um, let's say librarians and researchers in our um, venue, they were they were the first time taught about uh, such things. And so we, we gave them uh, opportunity to 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 then uh, um, after get uh, wider information about what we mentioned this many times. Open science infrastructure. We 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 uh, uh, talk we talk today about uh, it's very important uh, changes in uh, scientific communication. Uh, it's links to infrastructure. Without infrastructure, there would be nothing. Uh, we place uh, very uh, great uh, hopes on uh, European Open Scientific uh, Cloud. Yes. However, it skills will be need also to manage those chaos. That there are local communities which will be managed probably by Rotarians and uh, by local staff. Uh, we talk also about funders as publishers today. It was a platform, uh, it was, uh, uh, platform mentioned by uh, Ignacio. Uh, we talk a lot about so funders, are funders able to, to offer platform to publish uh, articles and those platforms are not exactly repositories, it's more like mega journals, or I don't know how to say, but we have to, we have, I mean, if, if, if you are a founder and if you set the policy, you have to offer infrastructure. It couldn't be only policy without infrastructure. This was, frankly, to say, mistake in Slovenia in 2015 when we accepted our uh, first uh, national uh, open access strategy. And also, we, <clears throat> we do, one year, I think two years ago, we do uh, the day of university press to invite people, for example, Dr. Polaris, uh, I think one of the most experienced people in this field in Europe, from UCL Press, and also uh, uh, people, staff from uh, Stockholm University Press, uh, to represent us uh, open, uh, uh, open access university press uh, model. And uh, I can say that the University of Maribor Press set a model and now I'm thinking how to integrate also this service for the whole Slovenia. Once again, Slovenia is small for universities and it would be very probably more easy than, I don't know, in Germany or even in Serbia to, to, to integrate this infrastructure. Um, but, you know, uh, without, uh, I can say directly, without uh, our efforts and without our, let's say, uh, workshops, uh, maybe people in Maribor uh, wouldn't uh, come in contact with colleagues and yeah, this resulted with, with uh, very good communication after, uh, out of uh, context of our uh, uh, workshops and then the results are here. Uh, we talk also about open science policies and roadmaps. We have to support funders uh, in creating policies and mandates. This is very important. Why? Because if, if you don't support them, uh, those funders will accept policy which uh, will not be applicable maybe at some, some point. And this could be a problem. For example, if, uh, and also, what's also very important, how to incorporate open uh, science strategy into broad research strategies. For example, if you have uh, 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 one funder speculating, to sign, let's say, plan S, which band, uh, which bands uh, uh, publishing in hybrid. In other way, the same founder uh, has a strategy, a broader strategy to support, let's say, publishing in uh, uh, high impact factor titles. This is not aligned, so we have to be very careful to align all those strategies. And this is a huge, I will say, huge niche for the relevance. We have those skills, not founders, not researchers. We are the one who are on the end of the day, paid for such activities. Uh, yes, and we were uh, uh, we were uh, uh, know also or we we thought uh, about Slovenian national strategy on open access. Uh, this was in 2016. In 2015, it was accepted. It was a huge discussion about it. Uh, very, very uh, a lot of uh, dilemmas about. Uh, we talk uh, about the roadmap. It was. Uh, uh, presented uh, very detailed, and the last uh, last year uh, we talk also about Plan S. This is very important uh, for Slovenia, and also it's very important that we know those uh, basic principles. 
to answer uh, researchers uh, on 5th of November, probably you know some of them, for sure you know that uh, some chemists, uh, researchers, express concerns about Plan S. Uh, there were uh, some, let's say, some statements that this is violent uh, on research integrity. What is the, for me, the huge violence on research integrity if you, if you don't have access to the data? I mean, to, 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 uh, to the data which were produced on a public uh, budget. So, uh, there, are, there is a lot of uh, dilemmas about and it's once again our role to clear these dilemmas, to argument. So, advocacy, I'm now in advocacy, which is maybe just along the, the, the previous slide. Frankly to say, to be very honest, I, I, I didn't put a lot of emphasis on uh, advocacy uh, till last year. When I know it, notice that in many cases, even funders do not understand uh, uh, the principle of open science. Because I, I, was, I was naive, I thought that researchers will accept these uh, open science ideas with both hands. But in many cases, they, they, they refuse those ideas. There were a lot of concerns. As I mentioned before, Plan S and our role is to, to, to do advocacy and to lobby and to do very policy action. I'm really glad uh, um, to see here uh, uh, journalists to have contact with, with uh, uh, people from media. I can say also that uh, we do some interviews regarding our event. Uh, uh, Dr. Iris did uh, interview for the biggest Slovenian paper talking about science and it was very, very uh, accepted uh, with, with uh, appreciation. So, yeah. Uh, you know, probably you know what, is, what, what this picture means here. This is the similar of first Slovenian printed book. And this is the first Slovenian book in open access. It was printed 550 years ago by, uh, by Slovenian Protestant priest uh, uh, Primo Struga in Germany. And it was delivered to the common Slovenian people in Slovenia free of charge. This was business model. Uh, anyone pay any APC or okay? Um, and what I want to say, uh, why, why, why he did this? He did this because he wants people to be educated. And this is the main purpose of open, of open science by me. I mean, we, we are doing this and this is exactly why we are doing this. And how, I mean, this is, I will say cultural click in my head, in, in our head, who should be. How open science uh, uh, affects the other aspects of research work? Uh, what ch uh, changes are needed and who, who needs them? Uh, what is about research integrity, etc., etc., etc. Many questions are open and we are the one, the librarians are the one to argue them. So open literacy is not only fight against paywall, it's much, much more. It's a very complex system, we have to learn, and this is the main uh, answer why we do such events. Because we try to spread knowledge to uh, other uh, professionals. Uh, here are some results, as I mentioned, I mentioned all. I, I can mention all, only maybe all, uh, the last one was already appeal on open access with some publishers, Royal Society of Chemistry, as the American Chemical Society has mentioned, it's not enough. I can mention also that the Sweden Research Agency published the first standard for co-financing papers in gold journals this year. 300,000 euro will be, this is kind of pilot, will be delivered. Uh, and the future of focus on open science, we would like to keep it. How? I don't know, but this is maybe uh, also the reason that I'm heard. Her, my suggestion is to step together and raise funds by participating and respecting application for the uh, Maybe this could be an idea, maybe colleagues from Serbia, from Budapest, from I don't know. We have to collaborate. This word today, collaboration, is key word of this event. Uh, just a few questions then I will end. Uh, it is our report. It was full every time. Uh, this is Labor Day. We put a lot of emphasis also on, on networking, uh, 
Mr. Bipolaris. <laughs> yeah, uh, he was a very social king. Uh, yeah, uh, and also to, to take it, uh, let's say, to spread information via modern uh, channels. Special thanks also to the noise services, especially to Dr. Tiberius Signal. Uh, without his efforts, we wouldn't do nothing. Also to, okay, you see press directly to Dr. Polaris, which for uh, all four years our, let's say, uh, appreciated speaker and uh, to new ideas, fresh ideas, and huge, huge enthusiasm. To Liber as well, all those speakers somehow are involved to Liber activities. And Liber is, it was one question through Slido, uh, uh, how countries out of the uh, European Union can participate in all that. I think Liber is absolutely an organization where uh, all countries are welcome. Here are other, I will say, talking heads, uh, more than 50 speakers. Uh, what I want to express is that very positive attitude, very positive energy. There is no place for, for bad feelings. We, we argument, and we, 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 do, we express the labels, but any, any bad feelings. There are social publishers, so. Uh, and for my, personally, what is the most valuable skill for me, I mean, I, I got through those uh, focus on open science, and I, uh, this is benefit uh, also for, for me as uh, director of a library, I can act. Uh, we have to do. We are, we are not, we, we, we mustn't wait. We have to do, we mustn't wait that someone else will aspire to this uh, shortcut. We are the one who are charged and responsible to do it. Uh, <laughs> Kuala Nam, 